Hello, I am Machoom, the cat of many hats. And last time on D&D Minus, our heroes ventured into the fourth level of hell, Flagathos, where the citizens live in fear of their superhero overlords who wreak havoc on the city in the name of justice. After a little shopping spree at Hot Topic, and meeting a really cool mouse named Flavian, we met a mad scientist who promised he could sneak us into the Hall of Equity, where the leaders of this lair of hell keep their power crystals. Our disguises worked, and we are now taking the test to become super ourselves. We have passed the first phase, and we are on to arguably usually the hardest, the water level. Let's see what's in store. You know, Miyamoto said that he invented, he added that level because he wanted something relaxing. <laughs> oh, oh, just uh, just rework all of your controls for a, for a second there. Yeah, yeah, totally relaxing. Was it Flamian or Flavian? It was Flavian. Was it Flavian? Interesting. There you have it. I remember it sounded like Flavortown. Mm-hmm. That's how I remembered. <laughs> okay. And the, pers- the person we beat on level one was the Christian lady, right? Yes. They're all Christian. That's true. That's also true. Wait, are we about to fight Christian fish? Yes. No, remember, <laughs> this guy's not Christian. This is Waterboy. Oh, guys, they're going to multiply. <laughs> this is Waterboy. <laughs> Nobody's Christian anymore. Okay, which level of hell are we on again? I forget how many we've done. The fourth total. level. Avernus. I just told you. Yes. No worries. Sounds like you got it right. Menorahs. Yeah, it's fourth. Yeah, okay, yeah. We're on the fourth level. Yeah. And there, how many are there in Dante? Seven. Seven, okay. Did you do seven or is it Wand of Parts? No, there's nine. Again? There's nine. It's nine. Okay. It's Wand of Parts again. <laughs> there's Swarm of Piranhas, Giant Lightning Eels, and Enormous, enormous tentacles. tentacles. Oh, Eli, is this a sex thing? I mean, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it chooms on the diving board. And I'm on the diving board, which you can't see. I'll make it in frogs. <laughs> Don't worry. All right. Don't worry, everybody. Roll those initiatives for me. This doesn't feel Christian. I'm just saying. This isn't Christian. So last, that so I, I don't want anyone to be confused. The last lady, Wonder Woman. Was definitely Christian. She was Christian. This is just Waterboy. And to prove that he is the most valuable team member, because a lot of people don't think he's the most valuable team member, you are going to have to fight his fish friends. Oh, because Waterboy. I see mm-hmm. okay. Yeah, because he's Waterboy. Yeah. He's wearing a little yellow suit. 18, 12. And we can breathe underwater right now, right? We can. Yes, we can. Oh, yes. And I cast a breathing water on you, which is not a concentration spell. So I can also cast concentration spells and last 24 hours. You can breathe in and out of the water. Awesome. Sure did. 24 hours. I know. How cool is that? We better go find some other shit to breathe in. This is going to take like 10 minutes. And that's a nine for gravy for folks at home. So some of you are still on the diving board and I, like an idiot, just jumped in because I got excited, right? No, just a chum. I just stayed on the diving board because I don't really like water. So Chum is about 15 feet up in the air above the pool, and the rest of you are swimming in the water. And I forgot to roll my initiative, so here you go. That's a nat one. Wonderful. All right, the enormous tentacle is up first. And surprise of all surprises, it's going to try to grasp one of you. In like a hentai way, I'm assuming. I mean, right? it's yeah. all tentacle grass. I mean, it's a tentacle. <laughs> <laughs> are in the hentai way. So this one's going to go for... Describe to me how it wouldn't be a hentai way Thank style. you. Like a sexually boring tentacle just grabs you. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I heard it as soon as I... That's dumb. Of course, that's yeah. not what's happening. Yeah, I was no, about to be like wraps no. around. Nope, no. I'm lost. <laughs> are you saying it's like being super sultry? And it's like like boring, doesn't even like you at all? <laughs> Because that's a thing too, Heath. Heath, give yourself a long rest. Heath, give yourself a long rest. Yes, uh, not as a in part a of the thing. Way. He just forgot to do that in between the levels. <laughs> oh, I thought you were honestly being like, you probably are tired after your hentai. You thing probably you were watching, yeah. 
<laughs> Nothing Which more restful true. than getting attacked by a hentai tentacle. All right, so that uh, it is going to miss you. <laughs> and I forgot, they are stationary. They actually don't move anywhere in the room. Cool. So that's tentacle. That is not like the hentai tentacles I'm aware <laughs> Yeah, of. no. Uh, they, no, they can they reach everywhere in the room. The room. So you, they can get anywhere. Oh, they all can right. reach, though. Yeah, they can reach it. But their base is static. Okay. Yeah, exactly. All right. Swarm of piranhas are going to come for you, Gravy. That's a 13. 13 does not hit. Will not hit. All right. Damien, you are up. Okay. I will give you a heads up about these piranhas, Gravy. So they have this thing called frenzied attack. Yeah. Which is that any creature that ends your turn in a piranha's swarm space. Yeah. So that's your space or its space, basically, basically next to it. Why are you talking like an old timey gangster with yeah at the end the whole time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got it. Takes you can just continue. <laughs> Three D4 points of piercing damage. Are you holding for applause? What do you want to say? <laughs> <laughs> I edited that one so I get that joke recently. <laughs> so he gets piercing damage? Well, only if Heath ends his turn in a piranha's business. And it's if you end your turn? Yes. So I have to be five feet or more away from the nearest piranha? Exactly, yes. Okay. If I do enlarge... On the piranhas. <laughs> <laughs> does the equipment enlarge as well? Yes. So if I enlarge Vardos, that shield should, like, be pretty protective, right? Ooh, um, yeah, I would give it advantage. Okay. Well, isn't the doesn't what the shield do give you disadvantage? Oh yeah, it gives it just gives disadvantage on attacks. So well, it, it, like I can shove people within. There's a couple of different things I can do, but giving an advantage doesn't really do much. Right, wouldn't make it useful. Yeah, I think it actually just ups his damage, if I remember correctly. Well, I would think it would up my range with it, right? If I'm bigger yeah, and it's bigger, thought. then instead of being within five feet, it should be like within ten feet. Or I love that. Yeah. I was thinking you could even, like, with your sword, reach the tentacles from, like, the center. I mean, if they're reaching out to us. Oh, definitely not. Yeah, you're not not that large. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what is... Actually, I don't even know how far we are. Oh, we're, like, 30 feet. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going to enlarge Vardos. All right. Read that spell description. Oh, shit. Because okay. I don't think you've enlarged anyone yet. You've shrunk. No, I haven't. I I've mean, reduced he's a enlarged. Some, <laughs> you know, that's not, that's inappropriate about a coworker. I'm that sorry. guy's mom. I'm sorry. Maybe. Yeah, but, or she enlarged me. But anyway, here we go. You cause a creature or an object you can see within range to grow larger or smaller for the duration. Choose either a creature or an object that is neither worn nor carried. If the target is unwilling, it can make a constitution saving throw. That doesn't really matter. The target's size doubles in all dimensions, and its weight is multiplied by eight. Vardos just sinks to the bottom of the pool. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> I'm checking if there's anything else. No, I think that's it. Oh, that's it. There's no, uh, nothing. I mean, he has advantage on strength checks and strength saving throws. Ah, there we go. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Okay, so we'll give you the advantage on that. And I really like the shield thing, too. So we're going to say that the range of that shield is now 10 feet. Okay. Oh, and you get an extra 1d4 on tax for damage. For fantastic. Oh, nice. There we go. Yeah. Ain't nothing to sneeze. And so basically that means unless every, unless and until we move apart, I can every, everybody would have to attack with disadvantage on everything because I can shield everybody. Yeah. Because that's my thought. You can shield yeah. literally mm -hmm. all around us. And I'm just going to move right between the two of them. Fantastic. All righty. Enormous Tentacle D is up. It notices a delicious little morsel in a Chum the Cat. And so it is going to attempt... Good fucking luck. How high is the diving board? Quick. How high is the diving board? 15, 15 feet. feet. Fuck. It's like the one time both Heath and I were paying attention. That is a 17. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Which one? Oh, the tentacle? How far can the tentacle go? Anywhere in the room. Fucking A. Yeah. Fuck that guy. I don't like him. So you are going to take 13 damage and you are grappled until the grapple ends. You are restrained mm. and the tentacle cannot constrict another target. Here's what I will tell you, Achoo, if you do not escape on your next turn, this tentacle will use its next action to drag you down into the water. And what kind of damage is it? Bludgeoning damage. Damn it. You still have a bardic inspiration, right, for your check next No, I turn. don't. I used it. Oh, I used shit. it to get out of the other test. All mm. right. Swarm of Piranha A is going to come up now. They are going to go for Vardos. And they're actually going to get right up in your grill, as is their ability. Your gill. 
Yeah, there it is. <laughs> An 11 will not hit. Nope. And the final enormous tentacle is going to attempt to constrict you, Vardos. That's an eight. All right. Vardos, you are up. All right. So it's a swarm of piranha. I feel like, can I, can I just hack at a swarm of piranha with my sword or do I need to like... You can hack at a swarm of piranha with your sword. Yeah. Okay. All right. I was going to say, I, I, I don't have a fishing pole, so... I was... <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> okay, I have a question that might inform this decision about attacking right now. When the piranhas missed each of us just now, a swarm of piranhas all missed, what physically does that look like? Like slow motion. You ever play like slow motion karate in the pool with your friends? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you for the affirmation. It's, awesome. it's that. You did that, but with piranhas. <laughs> you like ducked and dodged. And oh, we and... like neoed it. Yeah, stuff. you neoed all the piranhas. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Or, Hell yeah. Or, you know, maybe Vardosh like bashed him away with his shield. Right. I probably used the shield. You. Yeah, but like slow. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But like dive Whoa. rolled. To be fair, shield. Vardos is at the Whoa. very bottom of the pool because he's eight times the weight he was before. So <laughs> they might just not have been able to swim that deep. We don't know. Right, yeah, right. No, it's like just barely my face is sticking out, you know, at the top here. Um, how deep is the pool? The pool is, I'm going to say, the part just below you is like 30 feet deep, but it sort of falls off into cliffs and the tentacles are coming upwards through those cliffs. Yeah, so there's probably a large sea beast deep, deep underneath the water that can't reach up through these cracks. It just can get its tentacles up. And those probably go hundreds of feet down. You could check it out. You could experiment, but uh, you don't know. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right, so I am going to attack this swarm of piranha with my sword. I love the idea of smacking their dads, potentially. <laughs> uh, will a 14 hit them? Yes, it will. All right, and then wait, I get this plus a D4. Mm -hmm. So that's 12 Oof. plus three, so 15 damage. Oh, all right. Yeah, and you take out a solid half of these piranhas, right? Just oh, like wow. a beautiful... 15 HP left, got it. Vardos fades <laughs> so back... So each has one HP. ...into a memory <laughs> of a sushi staff he saw once, and he just does, you know... <laughs> 10 perfect cuts of sashimi or whatever it is. Oh, maybe I do want to get in the water. Oh, wait, wait. I actually have a second attack. Yeah, I'd be oh, able yeah, to you do, shield you. <laughs> so I'm going to I'm going to do that, but mm -hmm. again though. And that's I'm going to get a 20 fucking 5 Ooh, to hit. Oh, that's not a nat 20, is it? No, it's a 7. Oh. Ooh, excellent. Yeah, that definitely hits. All right. And I'm going to do my what is the shit? Oh, or no, you know what? No, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I am going to do that cuz fuck it, I might lo roll low. I'm going to divinely smite the shit out of these bastards, too. Ooh. Oh, that's very exciting. People have been excited for you to divine smite some folks. People, people love the divine smite. Who doesn't love a good divine smiting? Read that spell description. I think I've mentioned it privately, but I don't know if it's made the air. Oh, okay. Yes, right. So I'm, I'm keeping that 13 damage, though. So that's I, I have more than that to do. But I am not going to use the divine smite now because I already see how much damage I'm going to do. I, so, sorry. When you hit with a melee weapon attack, you can expend one spell slot to do 2d8 extra radiant damage to the target, plus 1d8 for each spell slot higher than one, and plus 1d8 against undead or fiends. These are neither undead nor fiends. But I already did 13 without the Divine Smite, and I still have this d4 to add to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go without it. So I think I'm going to go without it this time, and I got a fucking four there, so yeah, that's 16. Yeah, that'll so. do it. Those fishies are gone. Two quick clean strokes of the sword and the piranhas are floating dust except for one that's like kind of on its side and you're not sure if it's dead and you just kind of <laughs> decided you're just kind of kind of leave it be but yeah those uh those piranhas just leave it it'll end up in the filter yeah weird. <laughs> <laughs> so now i also have the ability a bonus action yeah that's a bonus action i also have the ability to use my shield to shove things away mm -hmm. that are within five feet but now i'm Big, so that would be within 10 feet. Absolutely. The one's gross. Maybe push it toward the filter. <laughs> well, right. <yes. laughs> so can I use that to push the piranhas that are around Heath away from him? Yeah, absolutely. Nice. Read that description. Is that That's an action, right? Or is that just a shove action? That's a, it's a bonus action. And yeah, it's just a shove action. Okay, great. Give me one second. Oh, okay, so you are going to make a melee attack. That's an unarmed attack. 18. 
That'll hit. And now you're going to make a strength contest with these piranhas. Good news, not particularly strong. And you get advantage. And you get advantage. All right, so is this a strength check or a saving throw? It's a strength check, yeah. So they rolled a 19, a 20 minus one. Wait, so, but but I get advantage? Yes. Okay. Still, though, because that's the one. Uh, there's right. three. Oh, okay. And that one. And, oh, okay, that was a seven. For a second, I thought that was two ones in a row. But yeah, it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't matter any fucking way. But These piranhas see what you did to their kindred, and in like a Finding Nemo-esque group effort, they managed to all <laughs> thump against your giant shield and remain exactly where they are. Damn. All right. They didn't hurt us, though. They just... No, no. Barely stayed with no, us. No, I got the good rolls when I needed the good yeah, rolls. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It yeah. happened when yeah. it needed to happen. All right, one last tentacle here. Tentacle A is going to attempt to constrict you, Vardos. Let's see if it has any better luck than its previous. We don't get to see which one is A, B, or C, or D. That's yeah, which one's got a chum? I don't know which one it's holding. <laughs> uh, it's the one that's on the bottom right is the one that's holding you. I, All right. I, I believe. Mm-hmm. The five o'clock. Yeah, sorry. I try not to use descriptions. So yeah, God forbid you use descriptions <laughs> on the audio Loca- location-based descriptions. So that's <laughs> uh, that okay. one's name is Steve the Cat Killer. <laughs> oh, murder! And the one that's attacking Vardas right now is Chris, the Blood Lover. Cool. Named after patrons. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hopefully just Steve and Chris, not like the other guys, right? Yeah. Maybe. All right. Giant electric eel is up. This one is going to one creature the eel touches within five feet of it outside the water, or each creature within 15 feet of it in a body of water must make a DC 12 constitution saving throw. Luckily, We're more than none of you guys are with him. Oh, he, he's, he's moving. I'm over imagining he's going to move. Yeah, he's, he's moving over. Yeah. You said constitution saving throw? Boo. Yes, please. <laughs> and I have advantage on that, right? Yes. 12 or higher. And that's for all of us are rolling that right now? Everybody, yes. Uh, fuck. 17. Vardos saves. Eight. Damien does not. 25. And Gravy saves. Oh, all shit. right. Can Vardos block him for me or no? No, because it's a saving throw, not an attack. Gotcha. So, Damien, you are going to take five damage. If you take any of the damage, the target is stunned until the end of the eel's next turn. Quick reminder, a stunned creature is incapacitated, can't move, and can speak only falteringly. You will automatically fail strength and dexterity saving throws, and attacks against you have advantage. All right. You can probably guess what this next deal is going to do. The same thing. Here comes another shocky attack. So everybody roll that constitution saving throw for me again. All right. Watch me be double. Hey, 12. 12 of the save that time. All right. 20. 18 for the save. Grave again. Oh, all right. I'm yeah. not double incapacitated. <laughs> I haven't even needed to use my advantage yet. God damn it. Already in the water. All right. Gravy, you are up. All right. I'm thinking it wasn't that hard to kill an entire swarm of piranhas and they have this after effect if we don't kill them on people Mm -hmm. who are still close. Yeah, no, that's the way to go. Okay. And it wasn't too hard. It was a 12 to dodge the eel. Yeah. Whatever it did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I don't know, but I I guess you've got a hell of a modifier on that as well. I got a plus five. Yeah. Constitution, I got a plus eight. So I'm safe on that. Pretty good. All right. I will attack the entire swarm of piranhas with some sweet tear lick my balls sword swings. Do we? Melee style. Or not. Whichever's the better one. I don't know. That's a 21 to hit. That will hit. Nice. And that's going to do this much damage. 12. 12 damage. Nice. Yep. That'll take some damage. You have two attacks too though, right? You're, yeah, you I do have, have another attack with attacks. the sword if I would like. I think I'm going to do that. I'd recommend it. That's a crit 27 oh, to hit. Oh, oh yeah. that's and I get another shit. attack. Yes. Um, so here's the damage on the crit. Fuck yeah. Nail it. Nail it in one. 18 more. Yeah. Those oh, fish, shit. Yeah. Those fish are gone. Boom. 
Now I get another attack on an eel. Yes, you Fuck, get one yeah. bonus attack. Um, actually, I get two. No, nope, we I have done this eel. on every <laughs> single episode. <laughs> Wait, have have we literally? Yep, every episode. But the, it's two separate things. The, mm -hmm. the crit is for definitely. But you one only get and, one bonus action per turn. But oh yeah, that is no, true. no, no, no. We we said I couldn't just keep getting the kill and no, then a kill leads to another one, one and then a kill leads to another per one. Turn. Why do we have the same argument with the same vehemence? It's not that we, we have the same once a month. <laughs> No, but we didn't have this exact argument. We yeah, absolutely have, we have had it. We've had it. It was a similar argument. Yeah, it was similar, <laughs> it was but not the same. same exactly. Same but the resolution was the same. Though. Morgan, you could you uh, bonus cut action. in a montage here of us having <laughs> Funny enough, the resolution last time was Heath went like 11 times. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Sometimes I have gone more than three times. Yeah, but then I think Eli was like, wait, wait, wait. I think I did that wrong. Yeah. <laughs> One time I allowed you to go three times and I was like, never again. Never, ever again. <laughs> Just to be clear, though, it's two separate properties that I have. Yes, it is two separate, but the rule is always the same. So both of those properties give you a bonus action, but no matter what happens, you're only allowed one bonus action on your turn. Yeah. Like one reaction. Exactly. You only get one reaction too. Oh, okay. I'm and you can't get a bonus action from a reaction. Yeah. Is that like a Newton's thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. The physics would be all off. <laughs> it's not equal and opposite if you get two reactions. Yeah. It's probably somebody emails Eli and is like, you're playing wrong. Yeah. All right. I think we did that last year, didn't we? We had we definitely we played a lot wrong last oh, year. Oh, we played a lot wrong. Like, <laughs> to be fair, we still play a lot wrong. Yeah, but you know what? You know what? We played a lot right <laughs> yeah. last year. We too. did. It's we about did. the friends we made along the way. That's <laughs> right. God damn it. Which honestly weren't many. Because <laughs> <laughs> we killed them all. <laughs> we killed most of them. Okay. Attacking Brocky, <laughs> the, uh, the the giant lightning eel. I gave them all names, podcast listener. Yeah. Brocky Bro and, Shocky. and Shocky. Did you name Brocky or Shocky first? I named Shocky first. Of course, okay. he named Brocky Shocky first. I was Finger just wondering, you never Eli? know. With Finger Eli. banger? I was weaving while naming, and so what came out of my brain <laughs> is neither... Finger banger? There's two Gs in finger. Yeah. Worse, <laughs> That's how you know he means it. <laughs> okay, well, I'll, I'll be a, so. Can you? Are, are you erasing the swarm of piranhas that's like on me? Oh, yep. Okay, and I'll be attacking Brocky. Go for <laughs> Brocky, <laughs> giant lightning eel <laughs> named Brocky. Okay, <laughs> so you were like Shocky, and then you were like lightning, electricity. <laughs> no, he was like <sighs> no, he was like water swimmer, rapist, finger banger. <laughs> There you go. Oh, he, these are great following. He did Brock Turner. He really did. Yikes. I, to be fair, I was uh, not doing Brock Turner, but now I am absolutely doing Brock Turner. If you picture with your electric sword, heel, yeah. so hit him with your sword. I'd like you all to picture. You take him out. I'd like to hit Brocky and the entire, I don't know, Stanford administration. The legal system. And the yeah, legal yeah, system. Please. Yeah. Okay. Here we go to attack Brocky. That's a nine to hit. Oh, that does not hit Brocky. Oh, oh I hate that guy so Keith much. He cannot bring himself to hit Brock Turner, everybody. Just keep that in mind <laughs> as you make your way through life. You could have chosen to lie and have me hit Brock Turner. <laughs> <and> chose <laughs> All right, Achoom, you are up. You won't lie to let me hit Brock Turner. <laughs> as, a God, as the God of this universe, Eli is protecting Brock Turner. He is like the legal system. That's official. Sure. He is a Brock Turner defender. That's what you should take away from this. Yes, exactly. <laughs> In fact, he's creating and protecting Brock Turner. Mm. It's okay. I'm retiring mm. after this game and hoping nobody learns my name. <laughs> <laughs> you can work for the Daily Wire. Yeah. I have a very simple question for you, Eli Bosnick. How much does this tentacle weigh? How much does this tentacle weigh? Mm. It's a great question. In grams. I mean, it's attached to a big ass sea monster that's a hundred feet below, right? Yeah. So like mm, no, you're not you're not making it any better. Probably now. like just, just go ahead and just go overall ahead. the creature <laughs> that you are attacking mm. is like No, the tentacle. So the tentacle itself, which is attached to the creature. So if you're casting it on the tentacle. You're casting it on the creature mm. that's underneath. And that's probably 
One second. Not more. It's probably more than five pounds, you'd say. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely more than five pounds, man. Is it bigger than a bread box. <laughs> okay. In that case, I would like to vampiric touch him. Sure. Nice. Now, keep in mind that if you are not using your action to break free, because oh. uh, huh. you are restrained right now. So I actually think you can't do that. Oh, what? Yeah, you're restrained. I can't cast a spell. I feel like restrained doesn't affect spells. Oh, you have disadvantage. So roll with disadvantage. Oh, fuck. The okay. Crit 27 was pretty sweet. Okay. I, I just, so because I went one second. Wait a second. What, what were you going to say, though? If I don't use my action to... He's going to use his next action to drag you into the water, just so you know. I did tell you that before, but I wanted to remind you. You did. I'm sorry. Thank you for reminding me. I already went, I'm already in for a penny. <laughs> Might as well be in for a pounding. From the hint identical. Oh, God damn it. Well, that is a 14. That will... Yeah, that will hit, though. That will hit? Yeah. Okay, in that case, I would. that's vampiric touch. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you. The touch of your shadow wreathed hand can siphon... Paw. Paw. Paw, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the touch of your shadow wreathed paw... Kind of ruins the oeuvre of the text, but, you know, look, we're going to be honest here. The touch of your shit, little witty bitty pity paw... Toe beans. Your little beans. The toe beans, exactly. Can siphon life force from others to heal your wounds. Make a melee spell attack against a creature within your thing. On a hit, the target takes... 3d6 necrotic damage, and you regain hit points equal to half the amount of necrotic damage dealt until the spell ends, which this is concentration, by the way. You can make the attack again on each of your turns as an action. So I'm going to go ahead and roll the damage. I like that there's a melee style version of saying a spell where you're like, no, 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 yeah. in spell in your face. I bludgeon you with banter. And. He said nine damage, and I'm going to be in the water next turn. I know this. I am preparing my body and my mind, and I'm going to take five or four damage or four healing power out of a nine. It rounds up, right? It rounds up. So five. Okay. Five. Nice. And Ty goes to the run. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, everybody, just jumping in once again to thank you so much for listening to the show. This was a really, really fun one to make. I hope you're enjoying listening to it as much as we enjoyed making it. And hey, if you are, why not give us some money? That's right, over at patreon.com forward slash D and D minus, all spelled out. You can give us as little as a dollar and you'll get a commercial free version of every single show. You'll also get access to bonus episodes. We just released our third bonus episode for patrons, so you can listen to three more full episodes of some mini games we played over there if you give us some money. Plus, if you upgrade your pledge, you can become a Dungeon Master level patron, which means suggesting stuff for Tony D's house of uh, whatever it is stuff and making characters for the last arc like we did. There's all sorts of cool stuff for Dungeon Master level patrons, and you can only do it by signing up over at patreon.com forward slash D and D minus all spelled out. But hey, if you don't have money, we understand we also don't have money a lot of the time and you can give us a review wherever you get your podcasts five stars helps new people find out about the show helps us rise up in the rankings which is always really cool we're up in the top 50 top 100 in the u.s for hobbies which i always think is really really awesome someone might just find this show because they're scrolling through their itunes thanks to the people who gave us reviews all right thanks so much for listening to the show and let's get back to it All right. Finger Banger is up next, and he's coming for you, Gravy. That is going to be a 16. That's a miss. That will miss. Oh, just miss. Tentacle comes lashing out at you, but misses. Uh, the piranhas are dead. Damien, you are up. I am incapacitated. You are incapacitated. That's right. I mean, I attack. <laughs> All right. Steve the Cat Killer is now going to drag Achoom into the water. Splash. Wow! I don't like this. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, I'm over here now? That's how he brought me over there? Yes, he did. 
How did he? Why did he bring me over there? Because they can reach. I didn't know he could do anywhere that. They can, inside the room. And they can, in one turn, they can bring me a cat over there, a screaming, kicking, clawing cat over there. Correct. Who's siphoning their life force away? From you are them. also going to take another fifteen damage. Ooh, fuck. All right. Now it is enormous tentacle C's turn. <laughs> this one's going to go for Vardos again. Wait, is it still holding on to me now? Uh, yes. That's a 25. Yeah, 25 will hit, yeah. And you're going to take 10 damage. All right. So this sea monster, this like kraken, presumably, that's below us, mm -hmm. has four tentacles sticking out of the water and names them Chris, Finger Banger, Steve, and Enormous C. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got it. It's the world we live in. Do you not name your appendages, Heath? Name them better. <laughs> Vardos, you are up. All right. Well, I'm going to go for fucking Brocky, obviously. It's a moral imperative. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, said, I am going to swing on him. Now, you will have disadvantage on this because you are grappled by the tentacle. Oh, I, oh I'm grappled. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, then he should be even, right? If he's got his yes. strength. So advantage. you will have zero. At least we can breathe. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Yeah, exactly. You're welcome. You could break free, yeah. I, I should try to break free, but Brocky is right there. And uh, so I'm going to attack Brocky. Nice. Will a 15 get him? Uh, will, yes. All right. We're going to do that plus a D4. So Jesus Christ, every time I've rolled that eight, it's been a, uh, that D8 has been a seven or an eight. Here we go. 13 damage. Well, no, I got a D4 that I get to add to that too. So, yeah, 15 damage. 15 damage. And then I'm going to yeah. swing at him again because I get two shots at him. Heck yeah. Tentacles like holding on like, wait, I thought I grappled you. <laughs> uh, it's t that's, a, that's a 10. Yeah, that's, you know what? You managed one good slice on Brocky and then the tentacle tightens and drags you ever so slightly away. There you go, yeah. All right. Chris, the blood lover is up uh, and they're going to go for the only one of you that is not restrained or asleep. That would be gravy. Can I pretend to be asleep? <laughs> that is a seven. That will not hit. No, it will not. You're a golden retriever. You're probably good at it. <clears throat> I just very happily smile as that misses. Yeah. With like tired eyes. All right. Shocky manages to recharge his attack. So he's going to do it again. Everybody give me that DC 12 constitution saving throw. 23. Oh, Jesus. Bardos, big save. Also a save. 16. Five. No, no. Well, Achoom stays asleep. Achoom's asleep? Wait, you mean, what? No, sorry, Damien stays, stays asleep. asleep. Yeah. Achoom, Achoom got it though, right? 12? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, uh, Damien, you are going to take 18 points of lightning oh, damage. Oh, Jesus. That's a lot more than last time. That what is, happened there? That's, uh, that is... Uh, How'd that happen? High rolls and low rolls. <laughs> All right. I'd like to see your math, please. <laughs> B-L-E. He also recharges his attack. So let me get those saving throws again. This is Brocky. Fucking A. Fuck you, Brock. 14. Constitution? Yay! It's Constitution, Constitution. Right? Yay, yes. Damien saves. 14. 14. All right, that's 16 universe. is a save as well. Yes, all save. Yeah, fuck you, Brock. <laughs> all right, Gravy. You are up. Okay, so we, a bunch of us just dodged a bunch of lightning. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. We got to be like pumped up for that. I yeah. feel like that should be advantage. On <laughs> it's a big psych. Big psych. Adrenaline. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. I will be attacking Brocky for sure. With my sword. Nice. Now I know if I ever want to set a trap, I just find a famous rapist and name the creature after <laughs> that. You guys will go for it every time. Oh, God. Yeah. I suppose that's true. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a fifth. Wait, why is that not more? But it's a fifteen to hit. Um, that I think will hit. Hits. Yeah, that's that what hits. I hit him with last time. Nice. Oh, did it like not add your adding thingy? No, it it the die appeared to be showing me a sixteen, which should have been a sixteen plus my seven bonus, but it it was apparently an eight plus my seven bonus. Good enough though, and that's for an amount of damage equal to nine. Nine damage. Brocky's looking bad. Nice. He's getting attacked again, right in the face. Fuck yeah, he is. Here is a 19 to hit. Yeah, that'll do it. And... Kill him. Kill him. Yes. 11 more damage. Ooh, very good. All right. Achoom, you are up. Not is dead. Is he not dead? Not dead. Fucking what? 
I think I have a thing to add to that. Okay. So I probably shouldn't touch that thing, right? The electric lightning thing? I mean, probably not. Oh, hey, this one doesn't need a a touch. Cool. Uh, So, uh, I mean... Just a reminder, you are still constricted (laughs) by the tentacle. I am still constricted. And when it is its turn, it automatically gets to do damage to you. (sighs) I don't like that. But, like, when it's its its turn, it's probably going to do damage to me anyway, right? If you have not broken out, it's going to do damage to you. If I have broken out, it's still going to do damage to me, though. Well, it would try to grapple you. It, it didn't do damage before. Okay. Well, I don't have many hit points, so I might... Hmm. I feel like when, when the god of the universe is heavily hinting that you should try to break out, you should yeah, probably, I try, should to probably break try to break out. When you've fine, lost more okay. than half your hit points from the two attacks you've taken from this one creature. I haven't lost, oh sure, but I, I got some of them back. If you can get over to my hand, even though I'm incapacitated, I could heal you. No, I can heal myself. I just, <laughs> okay. uh, let me, let me, all right, I'm going to try to get out of it, but it's a strength, right? Or is it dexterity? It is a strength check. Fuck me. Okay. Do I, have any, I don't have any bonus actions. Okay. That's a 15. Uh, that will not do it. Well, then I'm not going to do it again. Fuck that. <laughs> I can't do anything. All right. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> I'll be here not fighting back. I'm in the same boat. I'm just sitting here. Ooh, we can all breathe underwater. Can't we do some like dive down stuff? I mean, we're underwater. Damn, I'm pretty sure I'm underwater. Like, yeah. I'm- oh. Oh, I thought we were floating. We, uh, yeah, I figured we like fell in, but then like floated back to the When top. I got turned eight times my weight, I dabbed dog paddle went underwater. Yeah, you're, you're all <laughs> underwater. Right. All right. So finger banger is up. Coming for uh, Heath. Not the first time I've said that. Hey, yo. 12. Not going to happen. <laughs> Sex thing. Damien's asleep. Not the first time you said that, right? Next. <laughs> <laughs> Steve the cat killer. Gives Morgan, a two. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. If I'm if I'm touching something, can I heal it even though I'm incapacitated? No. Okay. 16 damage at you. Okay. And really <laughs> enormous tentacle C, which is currently grappling Vardos. 17 damage. Ouch. I'd just like to point out to the people, the listeners at home who can hear this that that Eli didn't tell me I would take damage. No, I edited it <laughs> in. Don't like, worry. I edited it. Me oh, telling I you. see. All right. Flawless edit. And then you laugh for some reason. You laugh for a really long time <laughs> and say, you're my best friend in the sun I've never had. It's weird. Guns. <laughs> a, I should not have been put into my hands. All right. No, no. Tentacle A is going for gravy. Or sorry. No, tentacle A. Chris, the blood lover is going for gravy. Oh, wait, no, sorry. That is not Chris the Blood Lover's turn. It is Vardos's turn. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to try to break out from this thing now that I see Heck the urgency yeah. of it. <laughs> it's really... Oh, don't, don't do it. It's not worth it. Honestly, it's really not fucking worth it. <laughs> Strength check, DC 16, and you have advantage. Right. right. I will need advantage. Yeah, um, and eight's not going to do it. 16. 16! I'm going to do it fucking Superman breaking out of chain style. Exactly. Exactly. And then you throw a weird elastic thing you had on your chest at them and they go into a weird dimension. (laughs) Fuck yeah, I do. Since we're all so close, is Vardas able to react? Like his friends? (laughs) Is he able to react with the shield to block (laughs) these grapples? Now that he has, is free? Yes. Okay. So everybody's attacking with disadvantage, except I can't get to a chum. Oh, uh, a chum is more I, than ten feet humongous? away. I, it, it's, it doubled my. We we settled on it that it doubles my range. My range was five feet. A chum is thirteen feet away. Not a problem. Any movements, bonus actions, anything, Vardas? Um. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Do I? No, I don't. Uh, I, I'm gonna. I guess this night wouldn't do me any good to shove Shocky or Brocky, would it? Just shove him anyway. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to shove fucking Brocky because fuck Brocky. I mean, yeah. If, right. if we're not in 15 feet from them, then they got to move back at, uh, back to us. I yeah, that's what I'm saying. So they, <laughs> they would just swim back on their turn. But I'm going to shove Brocky anyway because fuck Brocky. Nice. Make that unarmed strike for me. Wait, shove Shocky because Brocky's almost dead. Yeah, but Brocky's 
fucking Brocky. Hey, guys, just a little behind the scenes. The funniest thing I've ever done is name those things Shocky or Brocky. Yep, yep. I think that's pretty solid. No, murder Brocky so we don't get two attacks. It's just fucking Brocky. I don't think I get to hit I can't actually take two attacks anymore. I don't get any damage here or anything. I'm just shoving him. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm shoving him for the sake of shoving him, but I got a 20 fucking three, nice. so he oh, yeah. shoved the shit out of All him. All right, strength check, uh, strength contest. You have advantage. 13. Oh, this is not one when the first one. Mm-hmm. And 13. Oh, oh, it's a tie. So that does not succeed, but you and Brocky are locked in combat. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, perfect for the animated feature, everybody. Mm-hmm. I when love it. When you're ready for the series on Prime, because, you know, Critical Role got one of those, so I'm pretty sure we're next. I, I, I oh, have yeah, a feeling yeah. we're next. No, yeah. no, no. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure <laughs> right. I probably got a list. All right. Chris, the blood lover, is up, and he's going to try and grab Gravy, but that's a 10. Will not do it. That will not hit. Shocky. All right. Let's see if Shocky can do his lightning attack again. He must have more than one attack. He must they have do. other yeah. things. So they, he could every time they do. do it, they have to roll a d6 to see if they manage to recharge their attack. And they both did on their last turn. Shocky failed just now. So he is going to bite. Bite. Yeah. He's going to bite Bardos. That's a 21. That will hit. And that will do. Five piercing damage and five lightning damage. All right. All right. Brocky's up. Don't do this. Brocky also has to do a bite. Don't do this. Brocky looks and sees the delicious, floating, gothic morsel in front of him and attempts to take a big old chomp out of Damien. No. Uh, so it would have advantage, but Wait. disadvantage from, yep. Am I unincapacitated now? Yes, you are, actually. You are capacitated. Yeah, so he I'm is a uh, disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a 20 and a 11. I am so going not to hit. cast. It, it, he, he, um, it's, it was 11 because he had disadvantage. Yeah, he of didn't the hit. Oh, okay. So he cool. didn't hit you. I am going to... I, let me check if Hellish Rebuke is only on a successful... It is only on a successful hit, I believe. Okay, yeah. cool. All right. I love the action of you being like, actually, no, that doesn't get me. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I had advantage. Doesn't not doesn't get me. <laughs> All right, Gravy, you are up. All right. Brocky's almost dead. I feel like first swing at Brocky, right? Sure. Yes. For sure. Excellent. Even regardless, I think, first. Yeah, right. <laughs> kind of you just... always take out Brock Turner first. That's, that's a 16 to hit. That'll do it. And that's going to kill him nicely with nine more damage. Nine more damage. Yes, that will, in fact, kill, kill Brocky. Brock okay, Turner. <laughs> so I get a bonus action of an extra attack, and I have a second attack, right? Yes, that is correct. Okay. Boom. I'm going to attack a Shocky now. You think we kill Shocky and then we just talk to the horror underneath and try and get out of it? Maybe. 10 will not hit. Will 11 hit? Uh, no. Will 12? <laughs> Wait, what's happening? I'm just asking you questions. Oh, no. I don't know. <laughs> We're just I talking. choose not to answer. We're just talking. I was like, you have a plus one? Because I don't know all the shit you've got. I do, have, I do have some pluses. That's why I make it. Or we're just talking. Either way. 12? Would that have done We're it? not doing it's any Between 11 this. and 15. Make declarations and I will tell <laughs> 11 you. 11 won't, 15 will. So somewhere in there. Okay. 15 does hit. All right. So 12, 13, 14. Can you delete Brocky off the thing though? So now that. Goodbye, Brocky. I just want to see our victories. Bye, Brocky. Nice. Never come back. All right. And I've got one more attack. Uh, I'm going to try to hit Shocky again. You be it. 20 to hit. That will hit. Boom. Noise. That's 11 damage. 11 damage. Well done. All right. Achoom, you are up and looking rough. Real rough. Yo, it is rough. So I actually 
cannot do anything but heal myself right now because if he attacks me again, I'm gonna, I, I don't think I'll survive it. You do not need to explain it to us. You have been getting your ass kicked. <laughs> mm-hmm. And and you know what else? You're a and wet And I'm cat. in water right, right now. Exactly. It's the, the saddest the looking fucking thing this in the is world. This the worst it's case wet scenario. I could, shape, I could shape a five by five by five cube of water to be not around you and you could be dry. <laughs> do you want me to do that next time? Uh, no, only if it doesn't, like, I, I, I don't know, man. If you do know. it as a bonus action. Oh, God. Well, I, where is my... I just had... I know I have it somewhere around here. I don't remember what it's called. Like fucking restore bullshit. Absorb it's a weird spell. <laughs> Absorb. No. And it, it suddenly like Sam Alito appears or something. <laughs> okay, well, the only way I can is by doing damage to him. So I'm going to false life him again. Wait, move over towards me and I can heal you. I'm grappled. I cannot move anywhere at the moment. Mm. So you are not trying to break out. You're going to vampire him. I cannot. I cannot be hit by him. All right. And breaking out doesn't mean that I won't get hit by him. I need to... to I'm going to vampire him. No, it takes him because two that... turns to, to, for him to hit you, right? Because it's one to grapple and the second one to hit. No, he did me damage that first time. Yeah, they damaged the first oh, time. They, oh, they damaged yeah. the first My time. Bad. There's My literally bad. no point. So I'm going... Unless I want to wander around. And I'm not... I mean, I'm in water. I'm already in the worst case scenario. Is it false life? Ooh, I could cast false life. Wait, what's this? Temporary hit... Nah, no, I, I get more hit points out of this. All right, I'm going to... You work in HR now. <laughs> I am going to vampiric touch him. I'm going to cast it at level four so I get saved a little bit more money, more um, more life. <laughs> Here you go. So cast the spell. It is on a touch. So he has to do a saving throw. I believe. Wait, what? Oh, I cast this on myself. Vampiric touch. One second. One second. There's no way you cast it on yourself. Oh, OK. Well, let me let me try to hit with it. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Casting against yourself. I'm going to close my eyes so I have disadvantage against you. <laughs> Fucking nine. So it's a nine you know that what? will not hit. You know what? You know what? I'll, I'm, I'm looking rough. <laughs> yeah. As <laughs> Achoon starts to lose consciousness, he feebly sw- swipes not, a claw. I haven't lost consciousness yet. Feebly swipes a claw, but does no damage. All right. Finger banger. Going for gravy. That does not hit. That's a 13. That will not hit. It's true. You declared that before the dice roll. That's very impressive. (sighs) Amazing. What a weird use of one of your wishes. Damien, you're up and you're conscious. Congratulations. I can move. Damien's free. Free Damien. Free Damien, everybody. Free Damien. (laughs) (laughs) I am going to... You've got to heal a choom. I'm going to, but I don't know. I can't dive roll because I'm not as cool. So I'm going to like... Skin dive goth roll. dive if roll. If you move away from him, you might get a... No, they're not engaged. Yeah, oh, that's he true. just, he just that's shocked true. the water. They're just, they don't like labels. They don't want like putting labels on there. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to... Uh, what's your hit point at right now out of max? I'm at 11. My max is like 50. Yeah, and what's I'm your... I'm at 11. You're at 11? Okay. I'm going to cast Cure Wounds at thank you. third level. <gasps> On a tune. Oh, thank you. That's so sweet. Thank you so much. That will be not great. Kind of middling 16. Oh, 16 hit points? Mm-hmm. Nice. Thank you. That's actually quite a bit of my... that, that I can take another hit from that. So that's now. him hitting you, yeah. So yeah, far, exactly. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. By the way, engaged does not mean you have to be fighting them. It just means you're in melee range of them. Oh. Well... Now we know. That's how me and Anne do it. Um, but you didn't. You didn't move, so you're you're not technically. Ooh, and I'm going to actually cast Healing Word at first level as a bonus action mm-hmm. on a tomb. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! Thank you. Yeah, it's not a lot. That's okay. I know. I know. I was. I was five. Thank you. I, I assumed it would be something in the D six range. Thank you yeah. very much. Appreciate right. that. And that is perfect timing because <laughs> Steve the cat. Steve killer. the cat killer is up <laughs> and going to do nineteen damage to a tomb. <sighs> so that was all of it. There you go. There you go. Actually, not all of it. I think it was more. Oh shit! That I did heal instead. Whoops. Uh, Sorry, I think it was second. more than I did. Enormous Tentacle C is going for Vardos. That's a 21. But he has disadvantage. Oh, yeah. And a 21. 
Jesus fucking Christ. What, what, is he, what is he got a plus 20 on this shit? He can't un. No, because like every other goddamn tentacle that goes for gravy gets a, a, a fucking. I 11. know. Gravy has been diving yeah. tentacles left <laughs> and <laughs> right. Is that with the, the shield reaction thingy or what? Yeah, the, that's the disadvantage. That's from the disadvantage. The, well, the yeah. disadvantage is from the being big. Also, by the way, I'm weirdly shaved right now in like weird patches. I know. Right? You We're, are shaved. That's yeah. right. Our disguise is he just shaved us. So I look like a <laughs> make a wish golden retriever that's you like do. happy about it. Doesn't matter. That's uh, 10 damage for you, Vardas. And you are up. I'm going to take fucking 10 damage. Hold on. What are you at okay. health-wise? 29. Uh, sorry. True story, just to interject really quick. Unrelated to the last record in which Golden Retriever Gravy was shaved. Shavy Gravy. <laughs> Shavy Gravy, exactly. Shavy Gravy. Unrelated to that, I went over to, to Anne's house and <laughs> Bailey, Anne's beautiful Golden Retriever, Ruth mm -hmm. Bailey Ginsbark, was shaved <laughs> by chance badly. <laughs> Holy? Yeah. Why was she shaved? Ann and Kai decided they were like, oh, let's it's hot. shave our dog. Yeah, no, they were like, oh, it's hot. We'll we'll uh, take take uh, Bailey to you know the groomer and uh, do a little trim. But then they were like, no, we could do it ourselves. <laughs> <gasps> no, they didn't, no. I don't know. They didn't get the right tool or something, and gravy wasn't that. Or sorry, Bailey. <laughs> Bailey wasn't that cool about it. Oh, no, Freud. So it's just like a weird <laughs> patch here and a weird patch there. And oh, so he's not like, oh, no. like fully shaved. He's she, like she looks very, very patchy. child leukemia sick. Like <laughs> yeah. a lot of radiation <laughs> recently. Know. Like throwing out the first pitch at the game. Right. Sick. Yeah, exactly. There's a oh, lot God. of wishes being made yeah. oh, in, no. in Bailey's life right now. But it's But like Eli was saying last time, Golden Retriever, radical acceptance, just giant <laughs> smile. Yep. Doesn't Not matter. interested. Totally fine with it. Yeah. The preceding podcast was a production of Puzzle and a Thunderstorm, LLC. Copyright 2024. All rights reserved.